Hello everyone, and today we're going to learn how to implement Google AdMob on Android platform. And currently, Google provides four or six ads formats, so you can choose any ads format based on your app content and favorite format. First, let's go ahead to create a new project. For the main activities, we can choose this activity for the simply as code generated. But now I prefer the empty activity. Click on that and hit the next button. Right here, I um, name it as a ads app. And for programming language, I'm choosing Java for implementation. And then hit the finish button. Now the code is generated automatically and before we able to use a mobile apps SDK, so make sure the build.cradle file in the project levels and in all section, I mean a, and in all project sections, just put this line. It seems like a Google method, something like that. And then just next move to the build.cradle file too, but it is for the app level to add a add dependency. So let's go ahead to the browser and find this page. Admin it's all related to Android Google API. We can find these dependencies in this page, which is uh, on the release section. You can see here. So I'm going to copy this latest. So now let's go back to our project and paste it with in the single quote. But just don't forget add the implementation before that. And then we will see the scenes label link over here. Just hit that and it will download the dependency. Now before jump to the code, we have to do one more thing. Add the metadata in the XML node into the Android manifest file. And this inside the application node, we will put the metadata that contain an app ID. And we can find these lines of the XML from the Google page. And for safe testing ads, just put the sample app ID that they have provided in the comment here. You also can find the, your app ID in app mob page. Then just go to the specific app and select to the app settings tab. Then you will see the app ID over here. Just copy that. Because this video related to the next ads video, so I'm going to create a class to control and support all my ads. This means I can maintain the code effectively, save my time, and fixing bugs. Now I'm going to name it as ads nature class. Here I'm going to create a constructor that is support a parameter for application context when we initiate the object. So right now I'm going to create a variable to store the context because we will use this variable later in the other methods. Before we can do anything, we have to initialize the mobile ads SDK and the callback is useful for the mediation ads. But now just leave it. And next, we are going to create a method to support the banner ads and I'm gonna name it as a curate ads that support two parameters. The first one is uh, for ad view and the last one is for resource ID. And now we're going to instain the ads request. And then we call the set ad view listener to listen callback when thoughts means we can handle additional actions when the user performing a click ads or ads can be load. Now I'm going to implement on the on add loads and ads load to fall only. And over here when ads finish load, I'm going to toast a message. 
and when the ads can be load I'm going to show the reason why the ads can be load in here at this callback method I usually get a error code number three it means that uh, ads mob not always provide at every request I remember that in the previous dependency version it provides only the error code as an integer but now it just changed in, into the class okay finally we are start to load add request so we just uh, implement the backend but now we not yet define where it should be displayed so let's go to the rest folder and then open the layout xml file and in here i'm going to wrap the text view and the app view in the linear layout so to insert the app view into the layout i would like to go to the page and copy the snippet code and then pass it back i think we should be remove this text view and for the ad side I prefer the smart banner instead of banner because it have a flexibility based on the device screen size. And here I'm put the ID to app view layout as the app view. And put the simple as unit ID. So now let's go back to the main activity. Now I'm going to create a variable in the global, then pass it the while you referenced by the app view ID. So now let's instant new objects of the add nature class. And then we call the method great ads. And resource ID, we don't need that because we have add in the app view ready. So now let's remove that. And now we finish implement banner ads. So let's run it. Right now we have finished create banner ads. So we're gonna create a new method for implementing in test digital ads. And this method gonna return value as a in test digital ads type. And then we're gonna instance add request. Because of this ad does not have a layout. So we have to create instance in test digital ads object then we set the unit id and over here we set the sample unit id so we just go to the browser and copy that paste it and then the last one we have to load add request and this object also have a add listener for implement additional actions but I'm not going to implement it. Now let's go to the main activity layout and add a button. When we click the button, we are gonna show the add full screen over the activity. And in the button, we gonna put the ID for reference. Right now let's go back to the main activity class and let's find the reference button by the ID. And then set the click listener for the click button. Before we can show the ad to the user, we have to create ad means we preload the ad. And on the click event, we gonna check if it's ready to load. 
then we can show the apps. And this block code is useful when we have uh, two activities and we want the app display before a uh, second activity launch. And I will implement it uh, later on, but now just test this app first. Now I'm gonna click the button and here it is. Okay, right now that's implementing when I hit the button to open a new activity. And before launch a new activity, I'm gonna show the app first. Now let's go ahead create a new activity. And I'm gonna choose an empty activity. And I name it as a second activity. And it will create a new class and a new XML layout. Now let's go to add some nature class and may change something a little bit. And I'm gonna change this to the global variable. And in this case, we're gonna put the static keyword and this would help me to share the value entire application. Then I'm gonna create a new get property to get instead of interstitial ads. And this just return the object. Okay. Now let's go to the second activity class and instead new object of a as nature. But here, we're not going to create a new interstitial ads again. We just get instead of interstitial ad property that we just create at the moment. Why I'm not creating a new ad object here? That's because of the ad objects have been loaded in the first activity ready so i'm um, no need to create it once again and here i'm gonna check if it's load ready then we are gonna show the ad to the user now let's go to the first activity and i'm gonna modify some code on the click event to open the second activity Now let's run it. Now hit the button open the second activity. So did you see that? The ad is just shown. And if I close this ad, the second activity is behind it. After the ad load ready, if you hit the button in the first activity once again, it will not show the ad. To handle this, we have to overriding on resume methods and instantiate new ads object. Now let's go to the first activity and change some code. And I'm gonna declare the ads nature object to the global scope. And then call the method create instance ads once again on resume method. Now let's run this application. So for the first, I'm gonna hit the button and it's gonna show the ad. And then I close the second activity and hit the button once again. And the ad still pop up and display on the screen device. All right, everyone. Now you can display ads between two activities and banner ads. If you find this video have Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. For the next video, we're gonna create more beautiful banner on native ad format.